Okay, in this next section, we're going to be talking about views. We're going to talk about briefly section views, detail views, some auxiliary section views, and how to create custom section views and what options come along with it. Here I got our rocket. Uh, if you guys remember from the, uh, the CAD collaboration, this is the model we built, and we're just going to go in here and, and, and get this guy uh, dimensioned up with some blueprints, okay? I've got some display states. Darcy's going to talk about how we use these display states later on with some bill of materials. I'm going to show you how to bring them into your drawing here in just a minute, okay? And why I might want them in there, okay? So I'm going to say make drawing from assembly, pick our format. Okay, we've done that quite a bit this morning. I'm going to drag in my right side view, and I'll do a couple quick projected views, make a top, make a bottom, quick, 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 off to the races. We're starting to be from pretty efficient at this, okay? So what I want to do is I want to make some section views. I want to look inside the part and I really want to focus in on the rocket engine area. And so how would I do that? One way we might do that is with section views and detail views. Let's start by creating a section view. I've got four options here. I've got vertical, horizontal section view. I've got auxiliary, and then I've got this aligned view. Okay, we're going to cover all four of these here. So if I pick on the vertical, notice as I go to an end point or a midpoint, it'll snap to it. When that comes up, you've got a little, a couple more options. Do I want to do an offset or a notch to offset? Right now, we're just going to hit the green check. I'm going to come back to the notch to offset here in just a second. I'm going to say auto hatching, and I'm going to randomize the scale. I want to make sure that it distinguishes if I've got three parts that are 304 next to each other. Hopefully, it'll randomize the scale, and I can notice that while they're 304, that they're different parts. It just makes it easier to see, okay? Now I can flip the direction, I can change the title here. Maybe I want AA or uh, a company I recently did this with wanted all their view, their sections to be S1, S2, S3 and their details to be D1, D2, D3. Again, I can flip the section and uh, orientation. Imagine in this case, I'm cutting everything off the left side of the rocket and I'm looking at the right. Horizontal, just come down here, pick a spot that you wanna do the section view and project it down, boom. Okay, again, I pick the view orientation. How do I want that to look? Okay, if I do another section view when I do the auxiliary, well, I'm just gonna grab, guess what? I can grab that midpoint and maybe I just grab this point here. I'll hit the green check, uh, ran, leave that, okay. And I'll project up here, but I don't wanna look upwards. I wanna actually wanna look down. So I'm gonna reflip the direction. Bloop. And maybe that's what I wanted to see. And that is, so we're, we're calling it good. Pretty easy. Move the note up here to the view. Okay, what about a detail view? I want to look in on this rocket engine area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on detail view. Now the first click is going to be the center of my view window. And as I drag this open or bigger or smaller, I'm going to get a detail view. Okay. Now by default, you'll notice that our view scale is one half. SolidWorks by default will scale this a two to one in your detail view. Okay. Now I've got a couple options on how I want this to look. And if I drag on the D, I can locate where that is. Okay. So what are my options here? I've got broken circle and per standard look identical, right? With leader, I get a little dimension leader. That looks pretty cool. Okay, you might like that, whatever your company standard is. What about no leader? No leader doesn't make any sense to me because guess what? If, what if I move some stuff around and the letter D is way over here? I don't know what D is for. It just looks like an extra piece of text and I might try and delete it, right? Connected is a pretty common uh, way to, to show your, your detail views. Now, what about this circle? I can dimension its center, and if I drag out by holding down the left mouse button, notice as the view window gets bigger, my detail view get window gets bigger. Cool, I like that. Pretty nice, pretty easy. Now I can come up here, I can smart dimension, put my center lines, put my center marks, and I'm off to the races. I'm ready to go. So, pretty happy with that. What if I want to move the drawing views because sheet one is getting pretty crowded? I add a sheet two by clicking on add sheet bottom of the, of, of down here, there's sheet one. Now I'm gonna hold down the left mouse button. I'm gonna drag it onto sheet two. Drag it onto sheet two. And you actually have to drag it on something there. It says sheet one or sheet two, whatever it says. Now, if I go to that, the title of that sheet, guess what? There's all my drawing views and everything's connected and makes it easier to detail. Pretty, pretty nice, easy way. What if I wanna add that exploded view in? All I have to do is drag it over from my view palette, drag, drop, go, okay? And I could make it uh, shaded with edges. Okay, so what if I drag in a, a, a view, like a right side view, clerk, how can I bring in one of those display state views? Okay, so when you do that, over on the left side, you've got this box right here that says display states. 
just pick on the displace date that you want to bring in. Okay, hit the green check, and guess what? There's that display state view. Scale it, do whatever you need to. Now, here I'm going to make a drawing from this uh, rocket engine, and we're going to play around with this uh, aligned section view. Okay, so there's my uh, rocket engine here, and I've got a couple of views, and I want to do a section view. Okay, so now I'm going to come down here and do aligned. Okay, so the first pick is going to be, in this case, the center of my circle. The next click or left mouse click is going to be up here and third one down here. Hit the green check and I project it over. And imagine I cut away everything to the right of my little cutting line here. Now, when it comes to setting these um, uh, section lines, you got some options here. If I don't like it, the location of it, right click on it and just say edit cutting line. Then click edit sketch. Now I've got this sketch in here. And if I move this line, I drag it over to the left, I can easily move it around, okay? Let's put a center line in here, okay? Center to center, or midpoint to midpoint. Now I can put a dimension as to where I want that cutting line to be. So I've got it uh, roughly around an eighth of an inch, and I say, okay, that looks pretty good. Oop. I'm happy with that. Can I adjust that? Yep, guess what? It's a dimension. Now I can control where that cutting line uh, section lines cutting through the part. And then looks nice and easy. Okay. Now when it comes to views, the last one I want to cover real quick is a section view. I've got all these section views here and I've added, I hit my S key. I'm going to add make drawing to here and I'm going to quickly access my drawings. Makes it nice, clean, and easy. I'm going to drag this top view in. I'm going to say okay. And there it is. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go to sketch and I'm going to wake up the center point of that circle. Okay, so now I'm gonna left click, draw a circle, a line to the center point. I'll wake up that center point and I'll start using my little blue inference lines and I'm gonna start to move around uh, my part here and I'm cutting through. Let's pretend that a bunch of these are in different sizes and I'm just gonna cut out and I create this section, this line here. How do I turn this sketch into a cutting line? Right click and say select chain. Go to drawing and pick section view. You'll get two options. Initially, I'm going to say create standard, okay? When it creates this standard view, you notice it's dramatically bigger than the part. But what happened here? How did that happen? What's going on? Why does this happen? And how do I fix it? Well, what's happening is imagine that SolidWorks is projecting off all the horizontal lines to create that section A, -A but it's also including a projection from the vertical lines. So it's kind of going over and adding that as well. So how do we fix that? Go in here and grab those vertical lines and say make construction. Okay. Now, when I do that, I can refresh my view and you'll notice that the edges now align. If I move this section over those holes and the edges of the plate, it's the perfect size. Okay. So that, that would be method one. Okay. So what would be the other method? Okay. There's my line, my sketch line, select chain. This time when I hit drawing, I'll hit section view and create legacy. Okay. And when I do that, I get the right size view.